Hey folks, it's Eric from Support Adventure, and we have some questions on um, on the comments in our social media, which is asking about my background, um, the way that I communicate. To these people, sounds like I might have um, some other background other than just being from Canada, and it is true. Um, I am. I consider myself Canadian, yes, and I also consider myself German, and I also consider myself Slavic. So basically, my family is um, German from Slovakia, and I am the first generation of my family born in Canada. Um, so I lived there until I was 25 years old. But there were lots of, you know, sort of influences as I, as I was growing up of my grandparents, for example, and my father, who um, are second language English speakers, um, and they certainly affected the way that I spoke. And then for the last um, 13 years since I've lived in Europe, um, in both the United Kingdom and Serbia, um, I can definitely say that that has had an influence on the way that I express myself. So, yeah, it's, um, I always was European, you know, in, in my family history and stuff. And I view Canada as just like a place that I was born and grew up in and then got out of. And I think that because that's my identity, the way that I speak does sort of correspond with that identity. Um, so yeah, actually I found a really interesting, uh, well, interesting for me, um, clip of how I spoke back in 2004. And the story of this video is actually really funny because I was, um, I was 21 years old and I had just sold my car, which I had had for four years or three and a half years, um, so that I could afford to go to Europe for two months <laughs> at the age of 21. Um, and this is what I was talking about right before I left and talking about coming back and actually, um, you know, studying a IT business. Um, when I come yeah. back, here we go. Here, I'm going to set up a business doing computer repairs, computer genius for hire business. <laughs> And it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fantastic to, you know, unite the computer geniuses and use my Aries Fire for something to sell this whole computer genius for hire thing. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, so basically that's um, how I talked back then. And I think it is much more closer to standard North American English. But you can still hear that there is an influence of... Um, you know, um, second language English speakers on the way that I speak and, you know, all of that stuff. So yeah, basically that's me and my identity has been, I want to be European. Um, and now I want to be a citizen of the world and, you know, Canada is a place where I grew up. I'm very grateful for having grown up there. And basically the whole idea of supportive venture is that you can construct your cultural identity by flying around the world and taking on whatever influences you want in your life. And that this Anglo-Saxon, North American or um, British culture is actually really good for, you know, making money and building businesses and stuff like that. But it's not so great for, you know, the pleasures of life. And, and so I've been following the pleasures of my life, the passion of my heart for the last 13 years on an adventure that's taken me through Europe, through Asia and all these different places. And it's changed me and my identity of, as a human being. And, and I'm really proud of that. So for those of you who don't think that I'm Canadian, yeah, call the embassy, get them to take my passport back. Um, but otherwise I don't think your opinion on this um, really matters to me and all of that stuff. So um, I'm, really satisfied with the standard of English that I speak and it has improved since then you hear the way that I sort of mumbled when I speak when I spoke um, back then and you can hear that now I have a much more focused and powerful way of speaking and the message that comes out and you know living in London England definitely helped me learn how to speak English in a much better way as well and definitely speaking German and Serbian as two other languages that I speak um, definitely also helped me find ways of expressing myself that I did transfer to English. So thanks a lot for the comments and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.